Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tom, I'm an Open University student and it's been a while, I apologise for that, I've just been very busy. Um, hopefully you guys have been getting on with lockdown alright. Yes, being that long since I've recorded, it was lockdown I think the last time I recorded. Um, but yeah, I hope lockdown went well for you, I hope um, everyone's getting vaccines, we all want a vaccine. I had my first vaccine the other day, um, well, about two weeks ago maybe, something like that, I don't know. Recently, anyway, my first vaccine. Um, so I hope everyone who's had a vaccine, wanted a vaccine, got a vaccine. You get my gist. Anyway, um, this video, as you can tell by the title, is my look at TM352, which is the Web Foundation Cloud and Mobile module. It's a level three module, which is why 352. And it's one of my last few modules. Uh, I'll be doing a video back to back. Um, Looking at TM351, which will be another video, but in case you watch that video and realize I'm in the same clothing, it's because I'm recording this one first and then recording that one. Okay, so as always with my overview modules, I don't want to get in trouble with OU too much, so I will briefly go over the topics that they go through in the module. I will look at the how the module is structured, talk about assessments, and then I will talk about my personal feelings right at the end. Obviously anything to do with assessments um, and like the detail of what you study or what we're talking about because, you know, just to be nice to you. Um, but yeah, and my, again, it's my personal opinion. So don't always take my my point of view as what is true in life. Um, just have a listen to my video. If you like it, have a good read through, have a look over the topics again. Make sure you want to study that before you study that module. Um, I enjoyed this module, but that doesn't necessarily mean that someone else will as well. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, so the module has three blocks. It has web foundations, cloud technology, and then mobile applications. That's the title of the module pretty much suggests. And that is block one, block two, block three, and you study them in that order. So you do block one, you do block two, you do block three. Each block has its own TMA. Um, and there is an EMA at the end, which I will talk about. So, if you see me looking down, it's because I have wrote most of my information down. I just want to make sure I get it right. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's not too much of uh, not too much of a distraction that I'm looking down. But if you're just wondering what I'm doing, I'm just really reading things. So the structure of this module is split into seven weeks, and OU expects about 55 hours of study. And this is block one. Um, you will talk about um, HTTP, DNS, HTML, CSS, uh, firewalls, digital certificates, and server architecture. This is for web foundations again. Um, I admittedly, I know I talk quite quick, but hopefully there will be um, some things on the screen to help you keep along. Part zero, which is the very first part, as you can probably tell by part zero, it's not really much of a uh, studying week. But it's where you get introduced to the block, you get your module guide, and you get to see, um, you get to set up all your software. For this, I think you need NetBeans in the first block. Um, you might have NetBeans already installed, I did. Um, I'm pretty sure they use the same version of NetBeans, but you need NetBeans and that's where you'll you'll install that and then you can get in touch with like IT support or whatever if you're having trouble doing that. The best way, by the way, to IT support as I'm sure you know from other blocks, it's through the forums. Um, the forums will always have a technical forum place to put any issues that you have, if you do have them, and they're usually pretty quick at replying. Usually either the same day or the day after. Pretty quick. And then, right, so part one is foundations of the web. They'll talk about HTTP protocol and look at different architectures. Uh, week two is the first part of web services and you'll look at SOAP and XML. Part three, as I said, I'll just glance in over these topics to give you an idea, um, not going into any detail of them. Um, second part of web services is where you look at REST and JSON. And then part four looks at HTML, CSS, and a very brief look at JavaScript libraries. Part five, you look at web security and encryption, where it looks at different encryption methods, digital certificates, and user authentication. And then the seventh final week, so okay, it's technically part five is your sixth week, so part zero um, is dedicated to your TMA. 
obviously they probably expect you to work on the TMA as you go through the block. So a lot of those topics, if you've studied other web-based modules in the past, certainly HTML and CSS, you will have gone across before. So it is very much more of a glance over for those topics. JavaScript, um, you do, I, I don't remember using much JavaScript towards the beginning of the module. But what I will say is JavaScript plays a big part in the mobile applications block. Um, but I'll get into that when I talk about that block. But um, yeah, if you're used to HTML and CSS and you know them inside and out, I would still pay attention to the JavaScript, unless of course you know JavaScript back to front. But if you're new to JavaScript or very unfamiliar with JavaScript, I will look at JavaScript in particular for that four, part four, which is the fifth week. But yeah, a lot of those topics are probably have been covered in other modules. So it is not a fairly easy module, but fairly straightforward. And the TMA, like a lot of um, my computing IT modules anyway that I've studied, they tend to be split between a written part and then a practical aspect. It's fairly forgiving both both ways you know if you struggle with practical you can usually make up quite a lot of marks the written if you're not that great with writing um, you can usually pick up quite a lot of points from the practical it tends to be evenly split but hopefully you're good at both obviously block two is cloud technology um, it is split into 11 weeks and it's 90 hours of studying it is the biggest block of the module um, I believe it takes you over Christmas um, so you do get the Christmas break as well. So does that, that plays a part of it. Um, that's not counted in 11 weeks. Obviously they don't count the two weeks you get off for Christmas as study weeks, but it is an opportunity to catch up if you do end up falling behind or get ahead. If you have, you know, if you're up to date or whatever, and you don't want to necessarily take two weeks off. Um, I know a lot of people get ahead and might get a really good start off at the TMA for that module. For this module, you will look at different types of clouds and the different implementations, such as AWS and OpenStack. Those are the two that you look at. Um, typically, everyone's very familiar with AWS, so obviously the Amazon's web service, um, but OpenStack is the more of a open sourced, hence the name. Um, but yeah, both of the, you get a good look at both. You don't use AWS um, specifically and they do go they do talk about in the forums i don't know if they necessarily talk about in the student materials i think they do mention it but they're aware that aws has a free tier but um they don't use aws in case people go over that free tier without knowing and they get charged but so they do say that aws is there is a free tier for aws if you want to have a look at it but by no means do you have to uh, it's more for your own just well, your own interests, but they do, do put a big one in saying if you do go over your elected, um, you know, amount, then you will go, you'll get charged. Whereas OpenStack, they use um, Open University's own OpenStack, so you use that as much as you want. There's like a limit on it anyway, so you can't use too much, but you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get charged. There's no point. You look at how do you deploy, monitor, and destroy components in the cloud. And uh, this block, I put, on, I put a note here saying the block is given the largest amount of time, um, which is true. And a lot of it is doing practicals on your computer, uh, primarily using OpenStack. So you would expect to spend a lot of time on the computer, which I'm sure is an issue when you're doing computing in an IT course. But, you know, it's just worth saying anyway. So part one, which is one week. Um, is an introduction to the cloud, which looks at characteristics of the cloud and different cloud models. Part two, which is over three weeks, is designing a cloud, where you look at OpenStack and you see how OpenStack platform and how to manage uh, VMs, virtual machines. Part three is two weeks. Um, it's again, with, with uh, OpenStack, you look at orchestration and how it can auto scale. Part four is two weeks, where you look at AWS. Um, and you look at what's specific about AWS and its architecture compared to OpenStack. And then part five, which is also two weeks, is basically a look at the benefits and risks of the cloud. Um, 
not really much of a surprise for that two weeks. So you look at the benefits and the risks of the cloud, but it's not too bad. And then after that, you got a week dedicated to the TMA again. Um, for this for this part, I would start sooner rather than later. Um, for the TMA, um, I don't really remember. I think there is a good. I think the practical aspect was fairly forgiving. Um, and there's a lot more of a written aspect. I think we had to write a lot about AWS and do a lot of um, work looking at AWS and basically design our own cloud architecture, what we, what services we would use for a certain practical scenario that we were given. So I think that's enough. <laughs> that's enough information. Obviously, they might change it for next year anyway, but it's worth a shot. So I'm back, sorry for the cut, my camera needed restarting. Um, On to block three anyway. Block three is mobile applications. It is split over eight weeks or 65 hours of study time. Um, it is obviously the third and final module. You will be taught how to, the different ways of developing an app. And then you will look at creating your own hybrid app by using Cordova, um, which uses HTML and JavaScript primarily to build mobile apps. Um, I made a note saying, because you use your Cordova a lot, you will of course need to use your PC or Mac. So if you study elsewhere, you do need to do it on computers from practicals, which do play a big part in this module. So part zero is all about installing Apache Cordova. Fairly straightforward, but again, they give you a week to get it installed. Um, I think there is a, a lengthy practical, but it, it's fairly straightforward, follow it step by step and you'll be fine. If not, they do have um, quite a few tutors or moderators on the forums that will happily help you at any stage. Try and do it in this part zero, if not maybe even before. Sometimes um, they lock off different blocks to a certain point that you can't get too far ahead. But as soon as it's available, just try installing Cordova, like I say, fairly straightforward. Um, you should have no problems. Part one, mobile market. Uh, you'll look at the consumer market and the developing world market. Part two is mobile devices, which looks at different software issues, such as operating systems and how to begin developing a mobile app. Part three, mobile web, which looks at responsive web design and web apps, um, why they're important. Again, chances are you've gone over those in different modules. Uh, responsive web design is shoved in everyone's faces these days just because of how important it is. And then part four is developing mobile apps. Uh, you look at different types of apps, such as native, hybrid, and web apps. And then part five is about developing a Cordova app. Um, you look at requirements that you need for it, and then you run through an example mobile app in Cordova. And then there's the DMA. And then after that, you've got the EMA. The EMA is given six weeks slash 50 hours of study time to complete it. Now, the TMA earlier said that JavaScript would play a part in the block three, and it is with the TMA and also the EMA that JavaScript is, is important. As far as I know, they don't really talk much about JavaScript apart from right at the beginning. I don't remember, I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong. But in block three, I don't remember really talking about JavaScript. You get JavaScript examples and they go over like APIs and how to work with them. But it's only very brief and the practicals are sort of copy this, paste it in, it'll work sort of thing. I don't know. Maybe it just didn't go well with me when I read over it, but I'm someone who is not familiar with JavaScript. Um, HTML and CSS I'm fine with. I, you know, I'll get there. I can usually work out my problems. But JavaScript, I struggle with, and yeah, I wasn't alone either. There was people in the forums, a lot of people got caught out. Um, tutors had to put different posts saying about JavaScripts and how to work through JavaScript and stuff. So my point is, if you try and get ahead with JavaScript, if you're not comfortable with it, then you shouldn't get caught out like we did. Um, again, probably, it, I'm sure all the information is more than easily available on the module um, website. It just caught a lot of people out, I think, because they don't really focus much on it, and then it plays a big part in the TMA and the EMA. 
and then the AMA is very the AMA is kind of a mixture of TMA3 and TMA2 then you build a you, you have a report of some sort and then you also build an app I think that was pretty much the AMA um, but there were big it was a big report and it was a big app I suppose and from the from the going um, from the general feeling I had from the forums some people either loved doing the app and then struggled with the report or people did well with the report and then struggled with the app um, they, they tend to be quite forgiving on the app side I think they broke it down to like um, a general general idea of the app um, building the HTML for the app so the general layout and then the JavaScript it was in different separate for uh, marks and stuff so if you do struggle with JavaScript, you can still pick up quite a few points from just doing the HTML and the basic layout and stuff like that. And then the report was a report of sorts. But it was it's, it's a lot of work, but fairly straightforward as well, if you get me. Um, like I say, I didn't really get on with JavaScript that well, but you might be more than fine. So again, about assessments. The three TMAs for this module, one for each block, each TMA was 33% of the continuous assessment, equally weighted, and then the EMA is 50% of your overall assessment, along with 50% from the TMAs. And as normal, to pass the module, you would get at least 40% overall on the TMAs and 40% at least on the EMA. Um, and I made a quick note again saying EMA required both practical and written work to be completed. So, my general thoughts on the module um yeah overall i really enjoyed the module um it was really interesting for me to learn about the cloud because although it's it's spoken about in a lot of modules and i think everyone's heard of the cloud um, for someone like me who's never really delved into the cloud it was interesting to find out how that works especially aws um because again that is something that is not really talked about it was very interesting looking at the different services that aws offer and why the AWS is so good. I'm recording this like a few weeks after AWS had a massive problem and several websites across the world went down, but generally speaking, AWS is good. Um, yeah, I think the first block gave a good recap block. Um, again, I'll stand by that. I think um, there's not really much necessarily new in there if you've studied similar modules in the past. But it is really good for a recap and I'm sure they'll go in a bit a little bit deeper but it was it was a good recap and then second block like I said we're looking at the cloud I was really interested in that and then the third block um I've made a note and I think it could do with additional information and um, but due to the time constraints it does well I think that's just more again about the JavaScript thing I don't know I think the JavaScript could be a top bit different um but a lot of people got on with it fine, so again, that could just be a me issue. Um, and I said, yeah, there could be a full module on app development in the in fairness, and so to try to squeeze in that entire topic into eight weeks is always going to be tough. Um, which you know, actually, mobile app development is a massive topic that you could, like I say, you could spend a full module on app development really, and to squeeze in eight weeks to do well. Um. I also made a note saying that it's, this module has made learning JavaScript a necessity for me. Um, that is more than true. Um, I'm getting on with it, fair enough, but um, yeah, I will be looking at JavaScript in more detail as needed. Uh, and I said I would recommend this module to anyone who is remotely interested in web development as it provides knowledge about the cloud which isn't looked at in such detail in the other modules um, after the Open University. That's truly, I mean, I think there is a year two module that does talk about the cloud, but obviously there's a level three module, year three module. It goes into a bit more detail. It was interesting to it was interesting to um, read and learn about. So I think that's pretty much it for this module. Hopefully I've not talked too fast. I understand that I waffle and I murmur a lot. Um, hopefully, as a complete side note, I'm hoping my mic sounds alright. I've got a new mic. I've had this mic for three months. Um, but again, it's been that long since I've recorded. So I'm hoping the mic sounds well. If it does, or more importantly, I suppose, if it doesn't sound well, please let me know. Um, 
and I'll try and sort it for next time. I had a quick little test before and I think it sounds okay, but you never know how it comes out on YouTube, I suppose. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any questions, please feel free to comment. Um, I'll DM me on Instagram. I do really enjoy actually seeing the comments about people saying that the videos have helped. Um, it makes me feel better for making them. I don't want to be just rambling out to no one. Um, and it's always nice getting DMs off people. Um, I ask, I answer any questions that I personally can. Sometimes yeah, I just say that you have to talk to you about certain topics. Um, but if it is something from my personal opinion or just something I've seen from studying at OU, then of course I will answer the best I can. Um, so feel free to DM me or just ask, ask questions this com on this comment section of this video and I will try and uh, reply to you as soon as I can. I do slack with replying sometimes, I apologise. Um, hopefully it's not too much of an issue. <laughs> no one's had a go at me yet anyway. So thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more and feel free to ask any more questions in general about OU as well. Um, I'm happy to make a video on whatever. So <laughs> um, in a bit.